Am I my brother's keeper? We're connected to everything. The interconnectedness between us and the four-leggeds, the winged ones, the fish, the water, the plants. Our belief is that all of those, even the plants, have a spirit. We ignore the fact that there are 55 languages in Canada here and that 45 of these are in danger of becoming extinct. Parts of the basin are going to look very different in the future. Before we can do all this work, we have to realize it's a lifetime commitment. Climate change that was said yesterday is the elephant in the room. Changing light bulbs and stopping idling won't cut it. Major changes, a new narrative is required. The question is, what are you going to do about it with us? The fact that we continue to exist today, that we've recognized that we had to do something different. You're going to have to stand up in public at some level and say to the people that are sitting in those positions of power, that is unacceptable. You cannot continue to do that on my behalf. We don't have control over nature, so we can't govern it, but stewardship remains possible. The only thing we can govern really is ourselves. Where is our brothers? What have we done to them? And are we each other's keepers? Of course the answer is yes. If we haven't done it for the last 300 years, it is not too late, we could start today. <laughs>